this next song is basically about not letting unnecessary stress take the joys out of life. So the concept of the music video starts with me looking and acting a certain way. And then as I begin to throw certain items into the fuck it bucket, I start to look and act differently. Of course, I always like to incorporate at least a little bit of drumming in my music videos. So for this one, to tie in the bucket theme of the video, I want to assemble a drum set made out of buckets. I think it's gonna be fun. It's definitely gonna be loud. We need to mute all of these. Like we need to put some pillows in it. I agree. So we're currently working with like eight to 10 pages um, that are basically just describing what's happening in this music video. And if you had told me however many months ago that we'd be writing 10 pages before a music video, I would have thought you're crazy. I think it's good. When we used to do music videos, we would just go somewhere and you know, film what we can and we would have a music video and that would be great. So that's why I had a lot of just performance videos or the multimedia playing all the different instrument videos. But I have developed a more creative vision. So with these music videos, I know what I want to see, I know what I want to do in them. And with shooting a lot of music videos, we've also discovered um, that we need to be specific with angles and shots and where we're going to be doing things. I'm really not sure that all this effort will show up in the music video. You know, if people can tell that we put um, 10 pages of thought into it, but it definitely makes shooting it um, a lot easier and specific. going to be the files that I throw into the buckets from my office job. What are you going to put in your stress file? More papers. That's all we do here. You're fired. I believe you have my, my stapler. Yeah, I, I believe you have my stapler. I'm going to make a song with these. Like this, this will be the drum set making the noise. One of the main scenes, like destinations in the music video involves a podium speech. This has been in my English teacher's room for the whole year and he has never used it. And even explained, he doesn't like using it because it, it's more of an intimidating, like I'm above you kind of thing. He's a great guy. But I was like, yo, can I use this for a music video? Absolutely. I literally had to go up and down sidewalks, like rolling this thing out. It was horrible. So many people were like, what are you doing? And I was like, I, do, I can't even explain. Like, don't ask, please. And some, some lady, I wish I knew her name, shout out, because she saw me rolling this down the street and helped me pick it up, put it in my car. I'm quite certain if anyone ever tried to leave my high school with a podium, they would have been tased. That's gonna be fun for 40 minutes. This is the first outfit. So me. This is the first set we will be shooting at today. Mr. Anderson's podium. Pretty basic, huh? Just so you wait. There's a green screen behind me. Drum set over here. I'm really happy with how it looks. I think your floor tom's out of tune.
over here, we've got the bucket land. For those of you who may wonder where the book went that I threw, you can let it go. Threw it from here ish for it to land perfectly on the pole. Do I have anger issues? No. Okay, but I can set the building on fire. I'm just passionate about my music. What to do? What you want? It's just one more day. What to choose? What to be? And what does it all say?